my god what up youtube it's your boy matt gifted hands back to you with another video this haircut tutorial is going to be a low fade on my boy tito right here as you can tell i just cut him up looking fresh brought him back to life you've seen it before picture he was looking rough but uh anyways if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that like button smash that like button get them thumbs up make sure you share like comment so did you uh, want to say something to the camera man the gifted hands Lando Lakes, headliners, be here. Book your appointments ahead of time. You don't want to keep them waiting, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all enjoy. Like, show up, man. Show, show up. up. All right, Team Gifted. So let's jump right into this tutorial. I'm using my Magic Wall Cordless Clippers to knock down the bulk. I'm using a five guard, and I'm going to use it all the way around the client's head to get it all the way even. And I'm going against the grain, making sure I'm combing down the hair and and removing all the excess hair so I can get an even smooth canvas all the way around. I'm gonna do the fade with my Oscar Fast Feeds but I'm just using this to knock down all the hair. And again, this is a number five guard all the way around. It's also gonna be a low fade tutorial. All right, so right here I have the Andis MVPs with the 5-0 blade on it. It's equivalent to your trimmer blade. And I'm starting my first guideline pretty low and, I'm, and you can tell I'm leaving the sideburn area darker so I can give him the needle points. They have so many names for for the for the sideburns. Uh, I've heard needle points, uh, pointed sideburns, ice picks, but you get the point. So I'm I'm doing the first guideline all the way around the head, making sure it's even on both sides. And usually in my videos, I start the fade and then I come back and knock down the bottom, but. I wanted to get this started with this uh, the 5-0 blade first. It's just, I guess, how I'm feeling at the time. And just to let y'all know, anything that I use in my videos is in the description below. Y'all can check out the links. Alright, so right here I'm using the Osser Fast Feeds Wood Grain Editions. And I have the lever all the way open for the second guideline, which is equivalent to a half. And again, I'm leaving the sideburn area darker, so I'm not going to take the half all the way into there. I'll, 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 I'm going to put about a one guard in that area. All right, so right here, I just put the lever into the middle and then I close it to knock off that half guideline. I've said in my previous videos before that if you want the sideburn to show, you can put a half on it, but I put a one this time. But a half is just as good. You can tell I'm, I'm brushing a lot, making sure I'm wiping away the excess hair. You want to see what you're doing. Playing with the lever, knocking that half line out. All right, so right here I have the number one guard on there and I'm using the double magnetic guards. And again, everything I use in my videos is in the description below. So I started with the lever open and then I'm gonna put it in the middle and then close it. Right here I just took that one guard into the sideburn area all right so right here I have the two guard on there and as soon as I put this two guard on 
I could just tell that I'm gonna have trouble fading this client. Um, you can tell it's kind of spotty. It's not catching the hair. It's not feeding into the, the teeth of the blade. So I'm like, man, as soon as I put this two guard on, I was like, all right, I know I'm gonna struggle with this one, but we got the job done. Right here, this is a number three guard with the lever open. And then I put it in the middle and then close it. These are just my steps that I use. So it's, it's a technique that works for me. But I like to share my technique so you can use my technique and your technique and any other technique that you learn from other barbers and put it into your own. And you're going to have your own style of how you cut. But I like to share mine. So right here, this is that was the number four guard on there. But you can tell right here, I left a little bit of a demarcation or line. So I went back with the one guard with the lever open and then it gave me another line. So I was like, man, it's all right, y'all. I, I, I grabbed the two guard and I, you don't freak out. You just work around it. And you can tell that two guard just took away that line and blended right in. And I always start with the lever open because you don't want to create yourself another line. Even though I did, I had the lever open, but like I said, y'all, I had trouble fading this client, but we got it done. All right, so right here, I have the 1 16th guard on, which is your zero guard. And this is what's gonna bring the fade together. I'm using the corners of the guard and working those dark spots also stretching the skin with the opposite hand so I could get in between the the dents that he has in his head and you can see that blends coming together but I had a little trouble fading this this particular client I've only cut him a few times um, he gets a haircut and then wolfs it out for <laughs> like a month or so and then comes back and get a fresh fresh haircut as you could tell in the beginning you're looking crazy but this is what i like though i like a client walking in like that and then walking out with a nice tight fade it just it changes their whole perspective and just their confidence goes up it's like you're changing someone's lives but right here i'm using the 116 guard right here and just working that that area around the occipital bone and this is a coarse area. Um, sometimes it's harder. You're gonna find yourself trying to work a certain guard or work the lever, even using a lower lever. I mean, even using a lower guard and just using the corners of the blade to remove that dark spot. But you could, you could tell the blend's coming together, y'all. We're getting around it, we're working. Just detailing our work and using the corners of the blade I can't stress it enough. Get used to using the corners of the blade. You don't always have to use a full blade because then you're going to create yourself another line. And always start high. If you start low, you're going to create yourself another line that you can't get out. So it's just trial and error. You start high. If it's not cutting, then work your lever down. doing some detail work guys using the corners of my blade right here I have no guard on it it's a lever open and I just play with the lever all right right here so what you do to one side you do to the other and I don't know if you noticed but this beat that I have on this video, this tutorial, is straight fire, y'all. So make sure you go down in the description. If you like this beat, make sure you go check out that link. I have it in, in the description below. Uh, one of my clients hooked me up with some nice beats. So make sure y'all go show some love. Check out his check out his beats. Check out the, the link in the description. This 
It's all about quality. All about quality. Shout out to my client for hooking me up with these clean beats. They're, I mean, it's some great quality on these on this uh, these instrumentals. So make sure y'all show some love. And I'm doing the same steps as I did on the other side. I'm just used to doing the 50-50 fade, meaning I do one side and then do the other. I learned this in barber school and it, this is just something that works for me and I get a I get comments saying well how do you know that the fade matches on both sides I've been doing this for a while so um, I know where my guidelines need to be and I use references like the corner of the eyebrow or um, right above the ear it's just different references that I use and I lock in my head and I just I just do the fade So I did the same thing on this side. When I put that two guard in, it just, it was kind of spotty, didn't look blended. So I went back with the one guard and now I'm going back to my two guard to blend into the one guard. Guys, I had trouble with this client, but we got it done. And this is just, it's, this is just showing y'all that, I mean, not every client is the same. Not every hair texture is the same. You are gonna struggle. It comes with being a barber. But are you willing to accept the challenge and work through it and don't freak out and don't give up? Just, just keep trying to get that line out. But don't stay with the same guard. If it's not cutting, change the guard or lower the lever. You don't want to burn a hole in the side of your client's head because you're trying to get out of line that you can't. But, I mean, it's all trial and error. The hair is not feeding into the teeth then work move the lever lower all right so i'm gonna bring the left side of the back of the head together to the right side And even though this is a low fade, y'all, give yourself room to blend. Don't be scared to give your guidelines about an inch or half an inch. You want to give yourself room to blend. You want to spread the blend. You're not necessarily raising the fade. You're just making sure that you're having room to fade in between those guidelines. And it looks like the fade is spread. It's blended, right? If you try to fit a blend in a small area, it's gonna look like a bowl cut. It's not gonna look faded. Just some detail work. All right, right here I spray some spritz and I blow dried it and brushed down. That way the hair stays in place. And we're gonna start edging them up. And I'm using my Andes GTXT outliners. They are modified, as you can see right here. The the plastic piece is cut off on the top. That way I can get around the ear better, around the mustache area um, better. And I guess just for the looks. I mean, it doesn't really do anything as far as power or performance. It just, I guess it's 
the way it looks and it's comfortable to me it works for me right here I'm lining up the sideburn area and I had a tutorial on how to do a how to line up a client and how to do a pointed sideburn so go ahead and check that out if you haven't if you haven't yet is how to do a proper shape up line up edge up without pushing the client back and um, yeah so go check it out so I, I had the client face towards me that way I can get a better view of the edge because I was having trouble with this as well but we got it done y'all we got it done you can see he's kind of light in the corner areas when I put that five guard on I didn't notice it but I mean next time we're gonna learn from our mistakes and we're gonna we're gonna know to, to have a, a higher guard in that area there's ways around that y'all I mean for next time put a higher guard in that area and it'll stay dark all right, so I applied the 245 shave gel, and right here I'm just going against the grain. You could tell the razor does; it makes the everything pop. So if you're not doing razor, make sure y'all learn, get it down, so y'all can do it, and it makes a big difference. Make sure to wipe away the excess hair, excess gel. All right, right here, I'm just applying some hair cream. And you're gonna see in the in the final product, that corner is gonna be dark because I applied some hair fibers, but here it is. Here's the finished product. It's a low ball fade without the shaver. Y'all stay gifted.